This video shows you how you can stop your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube from going to sleep. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide shows you how you can stop your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube from going to sleep. Now, why would you want to do that? You might have a friend or a relative that it confuses when they change to the HDMI port that the Fire TV stick's plugged into and it's not there. They have to push a button on the remote. It might confuse them. So sometimes I find it best to stop it from going to sleep so it's always there it's always ready for them when they switch to that hdmi port you might be using the fire tv stick or the cube in a shop to display things on screen and you obviously don't want it going to sleep on there you because you don't want to be sitting there every 20 minutes pushing the a button on the remote control to uh, to wake the thing up there are several reasons why you might not want it to go to sleep but anyway this guide shows you how you can stop that so First of all, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download a, uh, an app on the Fire TV stick or the Fire TV cube. So you must ensure that you've allowed apps from unknown sources and you must ensure that you've got Downloader also installed. Also, you're going to need to ensure that you've got ADB debugging switched on. So I'm going to go through all those steps for you. So first of all, we're going to make sure that we've got Downloader installed. So press the picture of the house or the home button on the remote control. So you're back to the main screen. Then go across to find, down to search, middle button. And just start typing on your remote control, Downloader. Now, Downloader starts with a D, not an E as I've just put it. So as I'm typing it, there you go, you can see Downloader appears underneath the keyboard. So highlight that middle button and then make sure that you've got this orange and white Downloader highlighted with the arrow pointing downwards, middle button, and then middle button again to start installing. Now this bit might take a bit of time. It really does just depend on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your Fire TV stick or your Fire TV cube. But you'll know when it's installed because downloading or installing will go to open like it has on my screen. So middle button on the remote control. And first of all, you need to ensure that you allow downloader to access photos, media and files on your device. So make sure you select allow. If you select deny, then you're gonna have to uninstall down downloader and reinstalling it because it won't work if you've denied it access so make sure allows highlighted middle button and then middle button again to uh, get rid of the quick start guide so next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to come out of downloader so let's just come out of that so keep going back until we go back to the main menu and then we need to go across to the settings cog just on the right there down to my fire tv middle button and then we need to go down to developer options. Now, if you haven't got developer options, then you're gonna to need to enable that. And all you need to do is just go into about and you'll see the name of your device. Highlight it, as you can see, mine says Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Highlight it and just press the middle button on the remote control seven times, okay, until you see the message come up. No need, you're already a developer. Once you've seen that, you can stop hitting the middle button. Press the back button, go down to developer options, which should be there by now, middle button. And first thing you want to do is you want to turn on ADB debugging. So make sure that's turned on, middle button. There you go, that goes from on, from off to on, sorry. And go down to install unknown apps. Now, if you've got allow apps from unknown sources, press the middle button on the remote control and then press the middle button again to confirm that you want to allow apps from unknown sources and that should turn on. If like me, you've got install unknown apps, then go down to it, middle button, find downloader in there, highlight it, middle button and make sure that's turned on. Press the home button or the picture of the house on the remote control and then find downloader, which should be under recently used apps by now. Highlight it, middle button, and then what we want to do is we want to press the up button on the remote, then the middle button, and then type 21203. That's 21203. Then press the play pause button on your remote, and it should, after about five seconds, take you to the download section of my website where you can download this app that's needed. 
so here we go so just keep going down until you see this adb shell there we go that one just there so get your red circle anywhere over the icon once you've got it over the icon middle button and then hopefully it should start downloading now again this bit might take a bit of time it depends on the speed of your internet connection but once you see this or something similar go down make sure that council's highlighted then go across to make sure that installs highlighted that's across to the right once you've highlighted install middle button okay and let that install once it says app installed then what we need to do is we need to go to done middle button and then we can delete this we don't need to keep this this here is taking up space on our fire tv stick or our cube and space is something we don't have a lot of so go across to delete just there highlight it middle button go across to the second delete just there highlight it middle button and then just keep tapping the left hand side of the remote until your circle goes across there go to home middle button back twice and you should be back at the main screen there now next thing you want to do is to press and hold the home button on the remote until this menu appears then let go go across to apps middle button and then go down to the bottom of the apps and you should see this icon just here this blue icon with the white ellipses in it highlight that middle button and then it should come up new key pair generated so press the middle button on the remote and then what we need to do is in here we need to press the middle button and we need to type 127 dot zero dot zero dot one so that's one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one once you've typed that in press the play pause button on the remote control and then the play pause button on the remote control again just make sure before you do that that uh, you've got 5555 in there like I have so press the play pause button and then go down and keep pressing the down button until connect is highlighted it does it's not well highlighted that it's quite difficult to see but just keep pressing the down button okay press it four or five times and then press the middle button on the remote now if you see this allow usb debugging then it's a good idea press the middle button on the remote to put a tick in always allow from this computer then go down to highlight okay and then press the middle button and there we go if we've done all that correctly we should have this screen here so first of all what we want to do is with our little cursor down the bottom there flashing away middle button on the remote to get the keyboard up and what we want to do first of all is just in case we need to set it back so that the, the sleep timer comes back on we just want to see what it's set at at the moment so first of all i'm going to type in here settings space get space secure space sleep underscore timeout and do make sure you spell this correctly because if you don't you could cause your fire stick to basically die um, there's no two ways about it this is dodgy territory if you type in the wrong command then yep you could kill your fire stick and not be able to send it back to Amazon even if it's under warranty because you fiddle with it so if you need to pause this video write down this and uh, type it in yourself so like I say say it's all in lowercase settings space get space secure space sleep underscore timeout so once you've typed that in and you've double checked it and you've triple checked it and you've quadruple checked it press the play pause button on the remote control then press the back button on the remote control and you should be back to this screen here and there you go that tells you in uh, milliseconds how many seconds it is before your fire tv cube or stick times out so mine is showing there it's one uh, one million two hundred thousand so 1.2 million which in actual fact in minutes is 20 minutes so make a note of that in case you ever need to change it back 
So next thing you need to do is push the down but part of the remote control until you get your little cursor high, uh, flashing at the bottom of the screen, middle button to get your keyboard up. And then what we need to do is we need to type in there settings space put space secure space sleep underscore timeout space and then the number of uh, seconds in milliseconds we want to put in there so if we wanted to disable the screen uh, the, the screen from timing out or from sleeping the stick from sleeping then we could either put in there zero which is the easiest thing to do or we could put in there two one four seven four six and then four zeros and that would mean that it would it would let's face it it would never time out on that but the simplest thing to do is just put in a zero okay so again you're in dodgy territory here if you do do something wrong you could end up basically killing your fire stick or your fire cube so double check triple check quadruple check that you've put in the right uh, settings here pause this video if you need to and then unpause it once you've finished this step so okay so once you've double checked it triple checked it quadruple checked it then you're okay and you're okay then press the play pause button on the remote and then the back button okay and you sh if you've done it correctly you should just have your prompt there now mine just says cara colon forward slash dollar yours might say something different i'm just going to check that it has actually held so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the down button on the remote to get the cursor flashing middle button okay and i'm going to type in again this this command just to check to see if it's held so getting uh, settings space get space secure space sleep underscore timeout okay so once again double check it triple check it pause this video if you need to write this down and once you've done that press the play pause button on the remote and then the back button and hopefully you should have zero above the last uh, prompt there you go so that means that your fire stick or fire cube will never go to sleep so once you've done that, let's just come out of this. So just keep pressing the back button until you come out of this. Now, one secure thing you should do really is before you uh, you go any further is go across to the settings just up there. Go down to My Fire TV, middle button, and then go into Developer Options, middle button, and turn ADB debugging off. Okay, that will secure your Fire TV stick or cube and uh, not allow anyone remote access to it or, or to fiddle with the settings again. If you ever do need to go back into this uh, ADP shell, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go back to settings, okay, go back to My Fire TV and then go down to developer options and turn ADB debugging back on just to use it but do remember to turn it off straight after so there you go that guide showed you how to stop your fire stick or fire tv cube from going to sleep i hope this video helps and if it did whilst you're at my youtube channel don't forget why not have a look around i've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects hopefully you're going to find something to educate you entertain you and maybe even amuse you thanks for watching I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.